Jean-Paul Sartre. He was born in the year 1905 in the city of Paris, France. Jean-Paul Charles Amard Sartre was a French philosopher, biographer, literary critic, political activist, novelist, and a playwright. He has written a lot of notable works, one of which was Being and Nothingness. It was a massive structuralization of his concept of being, therefore considered as his central philosophical work. Now let's talk about existentialism. Sartre's choice of topics for phenomenological analysis suggests an interest in the phenomenology of what it is to be human. This privileging of the human dimension has parallels with Martin Heidegger's focus upon Dasein in tackling the question of being. Sartre sets up his own picture of the individual human being by first getting rid of its grounding in a stable ego. As Sartre later puts it in existentialism is a humanism, to be human is characterized by an existence. That precedes its essence. In any case, we can begin by saying that existentialism, in our sense of the word, is a doctrine that does render human life possible and affirms that every truth and every action imply both an environment and a human subjectivity. The following ideas are from his work, Existentialism is a Humanism in the year 1946. I have lately been told of a lady who, whenever she lets slip a vulgar expression in a moment of nervousness, excuses herself by exclaiming, I believe I am becoming an existentialist. So it appears that ugliness is being identified with existentialism. That is why some people say we are naturalistic. And, if we are, it is strange to see how much we scandalize and horrify them, for no one seems to be much frightened or humiliated nowadays by what is properly called naturalism. Going back to his book Being and Nothingness, Sartre stated that Perception is naturally surpassed toward action, better yet, it can be revealed only in and through projects of action. The world is revealed as an always future hollow, for we are always the future to ourselves. Being and Nothingness can be characterized as a phenomenological investigation into the nature of what it is to be human, and thus be seen as a continuation of, an expansion upon themes characterizing the early works. Which then leads us into believing that his theory indeed talks about us having respective purposes. Existence precedes essence. And it is up to us to determine who we are and what we want to be, for indeed, we are always the future to ourselves.